Hi, my name is Yusuf Yagi, and my email is yusuf at yusufyagi.com. Alright, today we're going to be destroying my lightweight Ubuntu system. It is running on VMware, so I'm not concerned about um, files being deleted or anything. It's a test box only for this. I've taken a snapshot of it just in case I'm starting to like um, the uh, lightweight version of Ubuntu. Ubuntu has become way too heavy on older systems. But let's do this. So um, we've all heard about um, RM-RF and there's always a warning when you talk to people about it. You can always destroy the system and make things um, make things go bad. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall the VMware tools. Um, I'm not really going to do that. I just want a file or a folder I can put in here just so I can show you uh, a typical um, deleting of a uh, directory that has content in it. Alright, so Control t uh, launches the terminal in Ubuntu and some other distros too. And we are going to CD into our desktop. We're going into the desktop, and ah, can't type anymore. Clear. All right. So, ls um, shows what's in the directory. All right. So, we want to. Uh, if you want to remove a directory, um, rndir VMware tools would not work because the directory is not empty. Even if you try to sudo rmdir VMware uh, tools distro, it's not gonna like it because it's got content. You need to delete everything in the f uh, directory and then you can. So we, that's not a practical use if you want to delete that directory. So what you would typically do is rm-rf, which is you're removing the um, directory recursive and F is for force, so you're removing the directory recursively and you're forcing it. So it's kind of like uh, what it's going to do is delete all the files inside the directory and then uh, delete the directory itself. So VMware tools, that's true. And as you can see, it's gone. Now, if you just wanted to remove the VMware tools, uh, that one. A zipped file or compressed file. It will be rm vmware and it's gone. That should be gone. What did I do wrong? Um, da -da -da. There we go. Okay, so I needed the privileged mode. Okay, now if you do rm-rf and you do it without being in root, you're just gonna get a bunch of uh, can't removes. And it, uh, what it will do is it will delete anything that is under your name, like you're the owner of that folder, um, that directory, that file. I'll just uh, destroy it, but the functionality of the system will remain. Um, so let's give this like a minute. See, everything's currently working. But if you try to go CD LS, see over here you would see like. Um, your, this is your home directory, and but you don't see like your desktop because it doesn't exist. You don't see your pictures. Everything doesn't exist that you actually own as an owner. Now, if you go ahead and let's um, even if you do sudo, it won't work. Um, so let's go ahead and get into root and do it. Um, sudo. I didn't have root enabled over here, so let's go ahead and enable it. And it did not like my password because I probably fingered one. Okay, so, Sue, 
to log into root now it says we're in root and this is the directory we are in so if we just do rn-rf from root anything we're gonna get a bunch of can't removes but a lot of the system functionality will be gone let's see okay so keyboard is gone this is not our right, language is gone this is still there okay power off button it's gone yes. it's gone oh, well it's there but you can see the x's clear is no longer a command ls is n not a command um, no such file or directory rm dash rf yep see nothing works um, so you cannot really do anything with a system which is broken obviously so it there's a bunch of can't removes I actually want to see if there's let's see where it says it can remove a couple of them probably missed them already oh well, it is a um, it is a system where nothing works I see all these buttons are not working this is working the stops are working this is not working let's try launching it again control T not working Oop. we lost our desktop okay and we lost all these and we lost all f oh run works so we basically lost um, I would say like a lot of function a lot of um, the functionality in the system. Um, I expected more of like not like the blue screen of death, which we see way too often on Windows. But I expected more of none of this would work. I expected uh, you won't see this. Um, okay, yeah, you see the desktop. Uh, it's all black, just because the file uh, for the picture is not there and none of these work so yeah this is awesome uh, didn't expect like I expected a little bit more I expected like the system to be like completely off or anything uh, completely off or just kinda like turned off so let's just go ahead and reset it restart force restart and okay I don't care and we are in grub rescue there's nothing we can do over here uh, I've never played with grub rescue so uh, I don't know what command would work here um, before I do leave do not try this on active system that you use do not try it on production servers <laughs> unless you want to get fired uh, this was kinda just like a demonstration for myself and whoever wants to see how rm-rf works when you uh, accidentally or in my case on purpose go uh, and delete everything uh, recursively from uh, root um, this was just a learning lesson it is interesting to see don't try it and um, unless you want to oh, like on your own system a system you don't care about it's dead or nearly but yeah thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this